ROV Sebastian is our underwater robot that is our eyes and ears to the seafloor. It helps the scientists aboard our research vessel collect samples and 4K high-resolution imagery of species and underwater systems never seen before. Sebastian is really made for science expeditions. So as opposed to just working with something that was already existing, we designed the frame, the whole system around integrating that different science equipment. Looking back to when Sebastian was first designed and created in mid-2015, now we're in 2022 and Sebastian has conducted over 450 dives all over the world. We're now in a new phase where we're integrating on a new ship with new future capabilities and we're actually able to stop for a minute and take a breather and actually evaluate how Sebastian has acted over the last uh, seven years almost um, and we're looking into a rebuild period for the vehicle where we're going to strip all the components off of it and do an inspection and evaluation on how everything is holding up as well as any preventative maintenance that we can do that's going to take us into this next phase uh, with Fulcor 2. Here you have Sebastian's arm deconstructed into thousands of components, nuts and bolts and o-rings, and this right here I consider to be my happy place where I get to go in and look at this beautiful engineering that was done and take it apart and put it back together. Good morning from our warehouse here in Vigo. Um, you're used to seeing the sub 2,500 meters below the surface, but today uh, we're diving deep into the mechanical and electrical systems. Um, we've stripped off all the science equipment, cameras, lights, um, electrical equipment, and hydraulics uh, ready for our rebuild. To integrate ROV Sebastian onto Falkor 2 was all about the launch recovery system, which was designed and built for a much bigger ROV system. So we've had to change the docking head, the shivs, and a lot to do with the winch to be able to handle our smaller umbilical. And the umbilical is what connects the vehicle um, to the ship and has all the power and fiber optic cables and video signal inside. Um, so we're in the process of spooling that cable onto a, a new drum in the ship. So it's not unlike taking a thread and spooling it onto a thimble. We're doing that on a much larger scale. <laughs> 6,000 meters of thread. <laughs> okay, Jason, we're ready when you are. Roger, I'm just out on the A-frame. Talk to me. Okay, quarter turn, keep coming up. We also have completely gutted the, the mission control room, so we're developing a whole new bench system and monitor display where the scientists will be working really closely with the ROV um, and the ROV pilots. One of the big benefits of moving onto the Falkor 2 with the ROV system is it's inside the hangar of the ship, uh, whereas being on the back deck of Falkor Classic, we were exposed to the elements. Now we will be able to bring the full vehicle inside, close the doors and be protected from the elements and be able to work with the scientists to integrate the equipment on the ship, protected and indoors. All right, coming up now. Yeah, I need to go to the left by one centimeter. We've seen some amazing sights with the ROV over the years. We've discovered new species and collected samples from some of the most inhospitable environments on Earth, all while streaming real-time to everyone at home. Sebastian is our way of connecting the world to the deep unknown. How was that? 